I'm tired of listening to that. Oh yeah, when you're when you're inside rooms, you just get this. <laughs> Thank you. Shall I do it again just to accentuate it? I think everyone got it. I think we got it. I don't hear any audio right now off your stream, though, Darkwing. Because I reset and there's no audio in that spot. Oh, do you sorry. Want, do you want me to start the game and see if there's audio? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> that's why I asked. <laughs> no, you asked about the cropping, and that's all I heard, and I stopped listening. My bad. <laughs> Well, I mean, Darkwing, he could just acapella the whole thing. Do, do, do. Do I know the lyrics to this song? Da -da -da. No, I don't. I don't remember. Da -da. Ba -da -ba. Wait, no, I'm not crazy. There's no audio. What? I hear it. Should be audio. You do? Am I listening to the wrong one? Yeah. If you're looking you at a guy dancing with a yo-yo, then you're looking at the wrong stream. Dragon Arc Slim Theo, yeah. Yes, I'm on three. I got my yeah, head going back and it. forth to this Goonies are forever or whatever it's called. You can hear it though, mythical, right? I can. See? So it's not my something, something weird is happening. Yeah. Weird. How something weird would happen. Uh all the text notes weird just happened my second monitor shut off. My second monitor shut off on me. We got music. And we got video. My second monitor won't turn back on. I mean, it shouldn't affect Amorek or anything because it should, shouldn't should be a problem that way, but I can't see it now. Uh, do, you, do you need the second monitor for a chat or something? Like, does... No, I can see everything just fine. Like, it shouldn't be a problem. It's just weird that it doesn't want to turn back on now. All right. We'll I'll just it off. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do this race, and then I'll figure it out later. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. of my dying. Yeah, uh, I know it's Goonies are good enough, Chad, but I just don't know if it, I don't know the not and you know good enough, good enough. Yeah, I know that part, but I don't know the uh, verses. I think the the lyrics is audio not loud enough, actually. Is the, the real well as much as I want to hear Darkwing Duck's Cindy Lopper impression, I think it's about time it's good to get enough. going on Goonies. Oh, it's good oh good man, enough. the clipping on the mic is yeah, 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 yeah. full. <laughs> Are you too ready? Uh, no, I have to reset because you know I'm showing, I'm listening to having the audio up here. Are we good audio wise? All right, go ahead, go ahead and reset and get ready. I bet Feasel's ready. Yep. All right. Feasel claims he's ready. Uh, okay, you guys gonna... ready? I'll go okay. ahead and count you. We're on the, you're on the start run, right? Because I make yes. that stick too. Okay. Yes, I'm on start or continue. Yes. All right. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, go. Go unis are good enough. It's going to be weird doing this without splits. I have a W split running, but I don't split. You split for you split for grabbing this hammer. I do. The problem is my live split is actually on my second monitor. Ah. So I can't do it. You probably could. You just couldn't see it. Oh, go leave the doorway, please. This yes, game's your, all about. Your controller uh, be possessed like mine is. It's all about hitting these doors and. Ladders and vines on the right frame. So you save frames instead of walking as far as you can, and then doing menu work very well. Like when uh, Dragon Dart did this at uh, SUDQ12. Yeah. 
Um, he and Seawolf, had, you know, the platforming sections were pretty similar, but he just kind of crushed Seawolf 1 on menus. And that's something I hope doesn't happen this time. First one coming up. I guess. So this game actually doesn't have any bosses, unless you want to consider Fratelli's bosses, but they're more of a uh, harder enemy, unkillable enemy. So it's all about the platforming and finding it, a mermaid for some reason. Oh, I missed that. You're going for early platform, right? Sure. Okay, good. Why not? I've actually been like kind of consistent with it today. Not hitting frame two. So, uh... Oh, I don't hit splits here. Okay. Oh, I made the completely inconsequential and stupid jump. Cool. <laughs> I do a jump that's completely unnecessary just because it's fun. It costs some time if he messes it up. Yep. Ooh, early on that. I was just... I was a pixel late. I'm actually like 50% on that today. Damage boost? I didn't Missed get the it. damage boost completely, but I only took one hit afterwards. So did I. I guess we should talk a little bit about this game, because it's... Um... It's a little unique, um, yes. and it's kind of, you know, not everyone's heard of it, so they're maybe a little confused. Like, I go in a door, I'm in a completely different place, what's going on? What is this first-person sort of section? Um, this is, uh, this is, it, it's actually, like, I would call it similar to Metroid, really. That's bad. More than anything else. Um, it's a... Hit on an Eskimo. I only got one hit off the Eskimo, but the penguin in the next Eskimo didn't cooperate. I'm at only at one and a quarter. I'm at one and three quarters. I'm sure this screen will fix it, though. Oh, there's a spider hit. All right, early platforms. Ooh, I'm in a bad spot. Got to wiggle. Ah, oh, no, I think I jumped. I either jumped on frame two or it just didn't let me get it. I got two, so I'm dead. Yeah, I died too. All right, that's a uh, kind of run determiner, really. So that's probably just best that we both died. Same result, anyway. Yeah. You made it out to the platform, I take it. Yes. Yeah. Same here. To the platform, and then jumped off and died. Yep. So well, pixel at least we got bomb skip now. Positioning, yeah, it's an easy bomb skip. Yeah. We'll see who gets it. This is a 50/50 uh, chance, uh, just based on how the game uh, didn't get runs. It. I didn't. <laughs> now we got the hyper shoes, which is what we want, because it makes us go faster, and I almost died. I backed off a little bit so I wouldn't die there. Oh, nice, sh nice, good shit, bird. Jumped and a bird just decided to dive at me. So this game has a front and back maps. So when you enter these doorways, if you're on the front or the back of the uh, map, you'll be facing up or down uh, when you enter them. And that kind of it doesn't really influence what you need to do, but it faces your kind of influences your direction. See, I'm facing up here. So when I come back I'll, into that door later, I'll be facing down. And I'll push down to come out. It's the same. Uh, oh, I almost got hit. There. It's the same um, directions, whichever way you come in. It's just the perspective is different. Ah, hit the th hit the button. I was notorious a little while ago for freaking hitting those dead pixels when you try to punch the wall for the items. Oh, that's a weird spawn. It's 
Sounds like I'm behind a bit. Not sure. I can't tell. Because I hear screen. your menu work <laughs> on your <laughs> controller. Oh, wow. I got a weird spawn there. Oh, why? That geyser usually doesn't sp shoot. I know. I had the same thing happen. But an earlier geyser, I think. Ugh, that's bad. So we're picking we up these items that are necessary. Oh, um, we have to... That was the diving suit, so we can go into the water. We are getting the extra key holder, right? Yes. Okay. As far as I know. Just, wa just, wanted, to be, just wanted to double check. See now, see how he was facing down there? You probably didn't see that, but... Uh, he was facing down there. Because I was on the back side of the map. Okay, we're going to get... Uh, this game has one... The... Early platform jump is one big portion of this run. The second one is a random key drop we have to get. So to mitigate that, in the interest of fairness for the race, we are going to get an extra key holder that we otherwise wouldn't. I'm going to knock out this Fratelli. Oh, I got hit by the bird, though gained a quarter health for that. And since I don't run this early key holder that much, I always forget it, so good thing you reminded me. <laughs> okay. We go through this door that we normally wouldn't go through. I'm probably going to take the refill while I'm here. Ooh, that'll give me an advantage. I'm not going to go for it. And I'm punching him. I was only down to three quarters, though. Oh, I died! Crap! I tried to <laughs> jump, but he didn't jump. Because I did what you told me to do, and he didn't jump. That wasn't really a detrimental death either, though. So. FYI, punching Konami Man means he will never refill your life again, yeah. regardless of which one you visit. He doesn't like being uh, physically abused. Water section, uh, we're going to grab the ladder here, which introduces us to uh, holes in the wall where we can go up or down. Ah. I still think I'm behind because I'm hearing your... your uh, controller. It's like, okay, I know exactly what you're doing, what inputs you're doing. I can hear the rhythm you're doing, which is exactly what I'm about to do about half a second after. Oh, get in the doorway. So to beat this game, you have to pick up all six Goonies, and which opens up the ability to save Annie. There are no bosses in the way or anything like that. You'll see Fratelli spread out across the uh, game and that kind of thing. There are the two fatalities, one that shoots gun, which is seemingly the uh, less dangerous of the two uh, male fatalities. The other one shoots, the fatter one, shoots a, an arrow, but it goes into three arrows and just covers more of the screen. Mama, which I don't Early. know. Which. Shit. I got it. Ah, oh, fucking hell. That is not the jump you want to be missing. I barely got it, but I got it. I jumped like a freak. Oh, I died on the way back, though. I am... I completely game overed. I am screwed. <laughs> hey, you need a key drop. Yeah, I need a key drop now. And I don't have any, uh bombs to get it with, so I'm screwed. 
Well, there is the, the, the uh, gray caves. You can farm uh, snakes near the beginning. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I'll do it, but that sucks. Where did I die the sec? Where did I die the... Died there. Oh, gosh. Now I'm all... Now I got less health for the uh, dino cave, which sucks. Yeah, that... That's probably the worst part about it, rather than the, the key drop you can make up, the health you really can't. Alright, so basically I have to be perfect in this probably hardest section of the game to not die. Which I've already game over, so it doesn't matter. Even with good health, though, sometimes that area will just yep. screw you over. The funny thing is, they aren't really that detrimental so far as time is concerned, but I, if you game over, you lose all your items, and that's where it's really costly for me. Yeah, he has no keys, no bombs anymore. Oh, that... Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Well, Bad I just game over, too. So <laughs> flame was in the worst possible spot. The fireball on the uh, on the it very was on the very edge. There was no way to dodge it. Yep. That's a, that's an RNG element that is awful. Oh, that I could die here. I'm there was die. no way for me to dodge that at all. Fortunately, I've already died a lot, so it doesn't matter. So this is kind of turning into an RNG race because we got to get a key off the. Uh, uh, we were trying to avoid this. Yes, I know. <laughs> well, that's our own fault for doing that for dying twice three times, stupidly. No, the fireball is the reason I died. But you died that many times? <laughs> because of anything I did. That was just the worst possible spawn. Alright, this guy up here. Snake. Hey, I got bombs. Heart. I got that going for me. I got a heart that does not help. Key. So I have very little health. I have to take a damage boost here. I'm at half. I'm at freaking half right now. Where are you? Oh god! Get out of there! I'm gonna have to reset the spawns in this room too. I have half. I just entered the uh, upstairs. Okay, I'm just about to enter the door up there. Now, funny thing is, when you go down the ladder there, you have to push up. That's the only way to get through a uh, hole in the wall when you have the ladder up. I'm gonna have to be super careful down here. I don't have that. I only have half a bar. I can take one hit. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I actually can be all right. I managed to kill a guy in my way. So it sounds like we got the key at around the same time, anyway. So it works out. Yeah, it does. Like... Okay, good. Almost died in the water. I almost did, too. I overshot by the, uh, the platform yeah. the door. And then had to stop and kill the crab. Now, the unfortunate thing is that we have to go back through the dino caves, which is a tough area. Some really tight jumps. To uh, do it optimally. That's a little tricky jump too, but yeah, back at AGDQ we raced this four times, I think. I was the record holder at the time, and I lost all four races. Yeah, that's what this game can do. Oh, okay, okay. Well, no, that should be alright. I got stabbed. Well, I know roughly where you are. Well, I got by him without damage. Okay, I should be fine. Made the jump. The, the, the one problem I have with this game is that it's pretty anticlimactic that at the end. It's not really that tough. Of a, it's more of a maze to get to the uh, to get to Annie. It's not really uh, challenging at all. 
something. Oh, jeez, that was a bad spawn. I almost died. All right. Now, the thing about this game is that you, you get knocked backwards when you're on the ground, but when you're in the air, you don't. Which is why, you'll if you don't want to get knocked backwards, you have to take damage while in the air. Oh, what did I do there? I almost died. Again. Took that jump way safer than I should have. Got bonked. So it's all about hitting these exits of these doors properly and that kind of thing. Oh, I missed the. I screwed up the jumps in the uh, basement. I almost forgot where the heck I was. Which way I was supposed to go out of that door? All right, Dragon Dark chides me for not doing this jump when I was first running it, but it's. It's an easy jump, really. It's just, you have to get used to it. It's a timing thing. I'm going for it. I yeah, got I, it. I got it fine. Oh, I got the perfect, uh, pixel perfect uh, jump. I didn't bonk. So now we're just going through the maze part. Oh, I got it too. You just have to know where to go. Your uh, visual cue jumps here to make sure you're, you know, doing the Mega Man style jumps where you're going downward once you get off the very edge. Oh my God, velocity and all. Because you actually, if you walk off an edge, you fall slower than if you jump. It's kind of a weird mechanic. So you never Not really. Ever... It's just momentum. Yeah. And, uh, get ready on done in a moment, guys. Man, why was my menu in so much crap when I was trying to go for a freaking good time earlier, and it's perfect in the race? Done. Oof, bad time. And... Done. Man, nice job, guys. I mean, well, no, you guys won't agree. You'll say those, of course. those runs are horrible. It was a terrible run. No. <laughs> 18 yeah. minutes? Yeah, that's garbage. Yeah, eight, I got 18.07 on mine. Yeah, that's that's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, the sell out. <laughs> well, that was a cool game. Made <laughs> for our mates. Yep. Konami and the Goonies. Topless mermaids. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. We got to we got to cover up that mermaid. That's right. I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot to do that. <laughs> uh, next up, we're gonna we're gonna get into the the spooky block, I guess. We were kind of there with Castlevania, and then we Dracula, then you know Goonies. Not not the scariest game. Oh, it's scary if if you're. Doing these jumps, right? Oh, yeah, I guess. Yes. Yeah. From a... I'm, I'm trying to tie it in. I'm trying to be the flicky here. Yeah. Well, that, it does have good. like a spooky a ice cave and a volcano. volcano. Yeah, yeah. Spooky ice cave, volcano. You have the, the rooms are all kind of oh. creepy. They got that eerie music. I'll buy it. <laughs> um, so we're gonna we're gonna continue that. Um, we're just trying to uh, to track down some runners. So uh -oh. we can't find. Yeah, if we can't find Valiant Link, we can just jump straight to Zaki if he's ready. Uh, yeah. Now that's a scary game. <laughs> <laughs> to run, to play casually, to watch, anything. Okay, cool. Yeah, looks like Zaki's here, so we can get set up and do some Fester's quest. All right, so I'll go ahead. Second monitor, please work. Give him this. I can stick around for uh, Fester's quest because I know that a bit. If uh, you guys yes, are interested, because I'm going to be tracking down some people, and I don't know anything about Fester's quest other than the music's good and the game is bad. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yes, yeah, the game. You know, the game's music is very noose. I think I just got canceled out of the call for that. No, I you. still hear you. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. All right. It, we, just yeah. was like, it wasn't even crickets. It was complete silence. <laughs> we're, don't worry. We're just ignoring you. <laughs> Can I do commentary? Sure. And then just dead yeah. silence. <laughs> oh, I got a... What, uh, what number is he on? Oh, right. Zachy will be on... He's on four. four. And maybe jump to some place with some music for now so we have something to listen to. Oh, um, if you're still on me, sure. good enough is still is back on the air. It's better than nothing. What's What one is he on? Four. Okay. I'm... Okay, I'll go on. So I can actually watch and commentate. I appreciate you leaving my stream up for that, though. You just want to sell out. <laughs> I think my second monitor just died on me. Yeah, it won't stay on. I think it's dead. Wow, that was a very tough hour for you, Dragon Dark, with your controller and then your monitor and then having the hard to, drives the, going into this thing too. Everything is just dying all at once. Uh. I hope you guys noticed that I used Comic Sans for that. Why did you guys start speedrunning Goonies 2? Well, Dragon Dark was first, so I'll let him answer first. I just did back in the day because I had it and felt like it. <laughs> Not that much to it. Just For me, it. Uh, me, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Like, I had, uh, and uh, Fizo, you might want to close your ears for this. Uh, um, close your ears like you're like an amphibian or something. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I had beaten several of, uh, you know, you know, I beat Fiesel at Rygar, and then I, uh, I did, I had just finished, had I finished River City Ransom? I can't remember, but I, you know, I beat his River City Ransom time, that kind of thing. It's like, it was one of the guys I always wanted, I always watched, and I beat, like, I really looked up to Empty Eye when I first got into speedrunning, and I beat his Magic of Scheherazade run in Rygar as well. It's like, who's one of the other guys I watched when I first was looking at videos? First, the run that came to mind was Crystalis, and I'm never, I'm not good at Crystalis at all. So it's like, what other run of Dragon Darks can I challenge? And I looked through some of his runs, like, oh, Goonies 2, that fits my profile, and I decided to run it at that point. So you were, you were a speedrun assassin. That was kind of a goal, yes. Yeah, I tried Crystalis once and was so bad at it that I have no chance of being like, <laughs> oh, try it with another game and see if I can do it. And I was able to, so I was very, you know, it was kind of a self-challenge thing for me. Now all my runs are getting beaten, so I kind of feel like Fiesel now. Now, now you know how Vodava felt, Fiesel, if he cares. <laughs> automatically move all of my stuff over to the first monitor because the second monitor's dead. Great. Oh, 
add that to the list of things that need to be replaced all of a sudden. Oh, I had to check to see if I actually did get any. Hey, I got some followers! <laughs> DWD sellout. I don't know, like, I, I actually watched the replay when I got a little bit of a chance. I watched the uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out race, which was really, really good. I don't know if you guys saw that, but definitely watch that if you haven't. Find the VOD of that. And, uh, that sounded like VOD of it. Huh. Good segue. Um, and I just lost what I was going to say. No, it's not a segue. You just sidetracked yourself. I did. I just sidetracked myself. You weren't supposed to segue about? at all. I was watching that. I really enjoyed it. Oh, and they said that I can't wait to go back and watch the VOD of this race. I don't know how either Dark, uh, Dragon Dark or I really want to watch. I don't want to. I don't want to see anything from this race. <laughs> you guys are lucky that that my second monitor didn't transfer Amarek over to the first monitor sometime during the race because I don't know what just caused it to do that. Uh... <laughs> that is unreal. It just okay. Get re get the stream ready so we can go get going with the race monitor. <laughs> Dead. So uh, while we wait, I can do I can go through Super Dodgeball again, like I did last year. <laughs> that, remember that you hijacked the stream. Well, have, am I still up on the stream? Uh, yes. <sighs> Other news: I'm having difficulty connecting to things. <sighs> I do still have the record in this game, so far as I'm aware. So this... And don't worry about adjusting your TV. The flickering is the game and not uh, Twitch. Oh, I got all of them. Oh, I should have done a time. Oh, well. Then a timer. This is somehow a record, which it's not already. Will still exist. You can actually. Sorry, Dark Queen, we got a cut. You got a cut? Well, yeah, we got. We got Is those. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there we go. That's the first two stages. So cut me off. Bye. I'll stick around for uh, Festers. <laughs> 